Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. A Trader Joe's employee says he was fired after he asked the company CEO to enhance his COVID-19 protections. A New York City man said he was fired by Trader Joe's after he sent a letter to the company CEO requesting the company make several changes. He said would more thoroughly protect the grocery chain's employees from COVID-19. In a tweet Friday evening, Ben Bonima said he was fired from the Trader Joe's location on New York City's Upper West Side after he sent a letter to Dan Bain, the CEO of Trader Joe's. Bonima outlined changes he believed the company should implement to further protect staff from the airborne spread of the novel coronavirus. Bonima did not immediately respond to insiders' request for comment Saturday. A spokesperson for Trader Joe's called Bonima's account of his firing misinformation. In the letter which Bonima shared on Twitter, Bonima asked for five changes in his Trader Joe's store, including enhancements to the store's HVAC system, an, an uh, <laughs> occupancy le limit based on the level of CO2 in the store, more stringent face mask requirements for customers, and a three-strike policy for customers who refuse to follow COVID-19 protocol. Unfortunately, ASHRAE and the CDC and OSHA have downplayed the dangers of aerosols since the pandemic's origins. So saying that Trader Joe's exceeds their standards isn't good enough. He wrote in a letter, Trader Joe's just fired me. Okay. So basically on his Twitter at Ben, which is B-E-N Bonnema, B-O-N-N-E-M-A, he basically posts a letter that he sent to the CEO. We should be following the guidelines of scientists who study respiratory transmission, he added, including a link to a February 17th article from the New York Times that reported a group of 13 scientists had called on the Biden administration to release rules to limit airborne transmissions of the virus in places like meatpacking plants and prisons. We put our lives on the line every day by showing up to work, he wrote. Please show up for us by adopting these policies. But Bonham has said Trader Joe's terminating him after sending the letter on behalf of his co-workers and shared his termination le letter dated Friday, February 26 on Twitter. <laughs> In a recent email, you suggest adopting a three-strike policy against customers and a policy enforcing the same accommodations for every customer with a medical condition that precludes them from wearing a mask, the termination letter read. In Bonham's letter to the CEO, he had called for the company to enforce mask uses, usage, even in the case of medical exemptions, which are often I illegitimate, writing that Trader Joe's employees can accommodate such people by shopping on their behalf. These suggestions are not in line with our core values, the termination letter continued. In addition, you state that Trader Joe's is not showing up for us without adopting your policies. It is clear that you do not understand our values. As a result, we are no longer comfortable having you work for Trader Joe's, the letter concluded. In a statement, a spokesperson for Trader Joe's told Insider Saturday, we have never and would never terminate a crew member's employment for raising safety concerns. Adding, store leadership terminated the crew member employment because of the disrespect he showed toward our customers. Nothing is more important at Trader Joe's than the safety of our crew members and customers. The spokesperson said we encourage all crew members to take an active role in our store safety and share their suggestions with leadership. During his short tenure with Trader Joe's, this crew member's suggestions were listened to and appropriately addressed. A group of Trader Joe's workers promoting a workers' union for the grocery store voiced support for Bonham on Twitter. We've spoken with at Ben Bonham and are extending unequivocal support and solidarity. 
We will not be providing comment outside what Ben decides to share, but are supporting him in every way possible in this fight. Crew for Trader Joe's Union said. Retail and grocery workers were hailed as heroes early in the pandemic as they worked to keep essential businesses operational during the lockdown, but protections for retail employees remain weak in the United States, and many workers and labor activists have called for companies to do more. Bonhamus claims will not be the first time employees at Trader Joe's complained about their safety during the pandemic. In November 2020, employees of the grocery train chain told Gothamist they were in a state of terror and claimed the company was not properly protecting workers from the spread of the disease. Employees of several New York City Trader Joe's locations, including the one on the Upper West Side, told Gothamist last year they were fearful of punishment from management should they voice concerns. In a press release early in February, Trader Joe's outlined how it said it was protecting employees and customers from COVID-19, including requiring face masks for most customers and providing accommodations for individuals who were medically unable, providing masks and gloves to staff, health screenings for employees, and increased cleaning at its stores. The safety and well-being of our crew member and customer is and always will be top of mind, a spokesperson for Trader Joe's told Gotham as last year. Okay, so do you guys believe that um do y'all believe that um Trader Joe's is um firing fired Bonama because of him talking about the safety protocols and how they should enforce it or um do you believe that it's all a sham or do you believe that um he was being rude to the customers personally i feel like this if an employee is raising concerns over safety, that employee to me should be applauded because a lot of other people really aren't going to say anything when it comes to um the safety protocols because a lot of people that work in, in retail or warehouses or anything, a lot of them are quiet. They're not trying to rock the boat because they don't have any other options. They can't go get another job for somebody. So they're going to let a lot of things slide. So all he was suggesting was to make it safe for us because we're risking our life to come in here every day to bust our butt. And I understand what he's going through. Like the company I work for, man, um, our union here in, um, in Texas, in um, El Paso, they're weak. They're a weak union. When I was in Jacksonville, Florida, the UPS union was strong. They basically handled their business. They would hold guys accountable. They weren't trying to be friends with no supervisors. They told the supervisors, look, this is what's going on and this is how we need to handle it. And it got handled. And if that supervisor didn't con to oblige to that, then that supervisor would be removed from where he was at. But down here, everybody's so buddy-buddy and cool, man. They think that's good. And I'll be trying to tell people that we need a stronger union. But if it's just you by yourself and nobody else is trying to come to your aid, you're going to be the lone wolf and you're gonna try, they're going to try to push you out or force you out any type of way. And that's just how it is. And the managers at nighttime, they're terrible. This dude is an a-hole. I'm not going to mention his name because... I don't need them to try to come back on me, but we're gonna call this, we're gonna call him Fat Face. All right, we're gonna call him Fat Face here. Basically, Mr. Rotun, I like to call him. Mr. Rotun, aka Fat Face, likes to run it like he's a dictator and everybody is nothing but his little workers. And if you have an opinion or you try to talk back to basically explain your point, he cuts you off. 
And then not only that, he tries to force you out. He tries to do these little things to piss you off so he can force you to whoop his ass. But it's no point because if you whoop his ass, you're the one who's losing something. He's going to be fine tomorrow. His fat ass going to be back at work stuffing donuts and talking trash. And then this dude is big, right? But he has the littlest voice. Hey, Mr. Falcon, what you need to do is you need to go over here and do this work. And I'm like, dude, where's the bass in your voice? How are you a grown ass man and you have no bass in your goddamn voice? That's a travesty. If you ain't got no bass in your voice. Now, I don't went off topic like I usually do. <laughs> um, basically, the thing here with this is, look. The employee was basically forced out because he, he was rocking the boat. When you rock the boat at any type of company, you're going to get thrown out or pushed out. And yeah, you may be white, but that CEO, he's like, look. You may be white, but that CEO's looking at you like, are you serious? Did this dude just send me a letter trying to tell me how to run my company? That's when your white card gets re gets trumped. <laughs> it's like big joker versus little joker. Your white card was the little joker. The CEO's white card is the big joker. So he had to say, boom, get him out of here and let everybody else know this is how we run it. If you don't like how we run it, there's the door. Peace. And that's how a lot of these companies are. And that's how they're going to be. And to me, things aren't going to be safe or done right unless you own your own company. And it's facts. Yeah, you were upset about how they treated you. Yeah, you're upset at the environment that's going on. But look, it is what it is. You have to understand, Mr. Eric, that this is their company. Now, were you wrongfully fired? If you were fired for, for voicing safety concerns, then yes, they are very wrong. Now, they're trying to say that he was rude to customers and everything. I don't know. I just think they're saying that to cover their ass so nobody looks into what they got to do or looking in, into how poorly they've been handling the um, COVID-19 and handling the um, environment for their employees. But um, let me know, man, in the comment section what you guys think about it. Do you think, um, do you think um, that was... Um, that was wrong of him to get fired or do you believe the company that they fired him because he was wrong for because he was wrong and um talking to the customer or do you feel that eric is i mean excuse me not eric his name is ben yeah ben do you believe that ben is right when he said he was just voicing the protocols and the safety concerns of the other his fellow employees and that he was fired because of that let me know in the comment section what you think. Thank you for listening. We are out. Daisy.